This video was made possible by Mizizi International, the official African diaspora clothing brand. Visit MiziziShop.com for more information. Togo's political scene just got a major plot twist. The country's longing ruling party flipped the script, ditching the old presidential system for a brand new parliamentary one. This move promises a power shift, but is it a step towards a brighter future or a cunning play by the Nasingbe dynasty to clinch to control? Before we dive into our topic today, if you haven't already, please consider subscribing to our channels and ringing the bell to be notified about all our exciting future videos. Togo's ruling party altered the country's governance structure, favoring a parliamentary system over a presidential one. This change redistributes power between the head of state and the cabinet, with the prime minister assuming a more significant role. The president's term is now limited to six years, non-renewable, transforming the presidency into a ceremonial position appointed by parliament. While some view this as a step towards democracy, Togo's long history of familial rule raises concern. Ford Nasingbe succeeded his father through a coup in 2005 and has since won multiple elections, despite official term limits. They suggest that this move could extend the current precedence for Nasingbe's grip on power and his family has ruled the country for 57 years. Now, critics are worried this new system is just a way for Nasingbe to become prime minister and extend his family's rule, a constitutional coup, as some call it. Togo's opposition has vehemently opposed these constitutional amendments, viewing them as a ploy to maintain Nasingbe's power. They have denounced the changes as a violation of the constitution and call for unity against what they perceive as an attempt to undermine democracy. Last month, lawmakers greenlit the constitutional amendment. However, faced with growing public outcry, Mr. Nasingbe hits the brakes on the reforms, promising further discussions. Pro-government legislators embarked on a nationwide tour to engage with citizens and shed light on the proposed changes. The focus was on traditional leaders and select groups, yet, despite the dialogue, no alterations were made. Yet, a cloud of apprehension hangs over public discourse, with many fearing reprisal from authorities, especially after recent crackdowns on anti-government protests. Just last month, an opposition press event advocating Don't Touch My Constitution was forcefully disbanded by authorities. Bridget Kafui Johnson, a leader of the opposition CDPA party and former presidential candidate, criticized the constitutional amendment, labeling them as a power grab. However, supporters of the changes argue that they will enhance democracy and political stability, stating that the current constitution does not align with the people's aspirations. Protests called by activists and opposition figures were prohibited, leading to further unrest. President Nasingbe then postponed parliamentary elections, exacerbating tensions. Subsequently, the government reversed course and announced that the elections would proceed on April 29, slightly delayed from the original date. Despite these developments, the position remains steadfast, vowing to continue the resistance until the amendments are revoked. Bridget Kafui Johnson affirmed, We are not going to accept this and we will fight against this constitution. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, share and subscribe to the new Africa channel for more exciting future videos.